Welcome into the show. This is Philadelphia Eagles now by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Senior. As always, thank you so much for making today's show a part of your day. So many great content creators out there covering the birds. We believe that we do something special here on Eagles now, so we always enjoy when you come hang out here with us and stop by. On the show today is a new team emerging as a James Bradbury suitor, and could the Philadelphia Eagles send James Bradbury across the state to Pittsburgh? The Pittsburgh Steelers could be in the market for a cornerback following the suspension this week of cornerback Cam Sutton. So could they make a deal for Bradbury to bring in the veteran? First, let's have some fun here on the show. If you think Philadelphia runs the state of Pennsylvania, and Philadelphia, by the way, America's birthplace, I want you to hit that thumbs up icon and like the video and spam PHI down in the comment section. Let's start off with the latest around Cam Sutton because that really does get us started with the conversation about a potential James Bradbury trade to Pittsburgh. Sutton suspended eight games without pay. Why? He violated the NFL's personal conduct policy and he will be eligible to return on Tuesday, October 29th following the Steelers' Week 8 game against the New York Giants. Sutton last year was playing with the Detroit Lions. He signed a three-year, $33 million contract, and he only made it one year into that deal before he got in trouble, and then he evaded police. He was on the run for a long while. Not a great legal situation. He did start every game for Detroit a year ago after spending his first six years with the Steelers. That went a long way in Mike Tomlin and Pittsburgh bringing him back because of the familiarity with the organization. And Sutton did not play well as part of that three-year, $33 million contract, which paid him on average $11 million per season. He struggled a lot for a Detroit secondary that really from start to finish a year ago was not good, and that's why they addressed it in a big way in free agency and in the draft, especially in the draft and taking Terry and Arnold. Overall PFF grade for Sutton last year, a 56. Run defense grade of 68. Pass rush grade of 50. A coverage grade, which obviously is the most important statistic here, of 53.9. A passer rating allowed of 113.9. 701 coverage snaps. He picked off one pass and had six pass breakups. Last year with the Lions, he did play outside corner. This year, he is projected to play in the slot for the Steelers. He did a lot of that his first six years in the National Football League while with Pittsburgh. His snaps by alignment a year ago, and that's a big part of this conversation because if the Steelers were to trade for James Bradbury, they want to have confidence that Bradbury can play out of the slot. Last year, 948 snaps on the outside for Sutton, 38 in the slot, 69 box snaps, right? In 2022, still a large sample size as an outside corner with 655 snaps. So the workload there pretty large, but in the slot, 185 snaps. In the box, 71 snaps. So as you look ahead for the Steelers, once he comes back, he's expected to assume the slot roll duties where former Eagle Josiah Scott has an opportunity to maybe crack that roster and fulfill that role as well. The Steelers cornerback depth chart. On the outside, they do have Joey Porter Jr., who Played really well as a rookie once he was put into the lineup as a first-round pick out of Penn State. Dante Jackson is their cornerback, too. And then Cam Sutton is their slot guy. So if the Steelers were to emerge as a trade destination for James Bradbury, they might want him to play out of the slot. Last year, Bradbury did a little bit of that. Remember when Matt Patricia and Sean Desai were experimenting with Bradbury on the inside just because he wasn't holding up well at all on the outside? That's really where a bulk of the 126 snaps came from. Outside corner, 852 snaps. And then Bradbury was in the box for 71 snaps. In 2022, when he was the second team All-Pro, he was strictly... And outside corner, 965 snaps on the outside, only 10 snaps in the slot, 99 snaps in the box. So the Steelers looking for a corner. If it's James Bradbury, he can probably be had for a seventh round pick, but they're going to have confidence or going to have to have confidence that Bradbury can play that slot nickel role. 
If a Bradbury trade does happen or whenever there is Eagles news that's going down, we cover it right here on Philadelphia Eagles. Now, that's why you hit that subscribe button for daily coverage of the birds. As for the Eagles roster building construction here, and as it pertains to James Bradbury, the Eagles could pretty much afford to get Bradbury away thanks to their corner depth. They're going to have to eat some of the money and take a little bit of a financial hit because of the deal that they signed him to. But Howie Roseman addressing a lot of the weaknesses in that secondary this offseason by drafting Quinian Mitchell and Cooper DeGene in rounds one and two, bringing back C.J. Gardner-Johnson. You have Isaiah Rodgers coming off that gambling suspension. And then you're also hoping that Keely Ringo and Eli Ricks can take those next leaps going into year two. The Eagles' pass defense last year, horrific, bad, awful, Really hard to comprehend just how terrible they were. Philadelphia gave up 35 passing touchdowns a year ago, and Bradbury was a part of that. His 2023 pro football focus numbers on the right side of the screen here. Overall grade of 56.6. A year after, he had an overall grade of 74.1. His coverage grade dipping from 80.2 to 54.7. The passer rating when targeted doubled year over year. And the workload, the coverage snaps, pretty much the same in consecutive seasons. Another reason why the Steelers make sense in addition to having a need at that corner spot with Cam Sutton being suspended by the National Football League, they do have the late round draft compensation to give up in a Bradbury trade. Of course, the draft picks as far as specifically where they are to be determined because the draft order, not yet set in stone, will understand and know that following the 2024 campaign. But the Pittsburgh Steelers do have a six-round pick and then two seventh-round picks to give away if they want to make this move for James Bradbury. Why it could work is that the Steelers already have a really good defense. Now they have a hole at that corner spot. And Bradbury could go there with that strong front, making the back end's job a lot easier, and he could be a veteran who can quickly grasp the defense, play under Mike Tomlin, play well there, and hold up there. And at the very least, if he doesn't play spectacular, he could be that holdover plan until Sutton comes back. Cam Sutton, one of those players who got the bag in free agency, went somewhere else, now he returns to Pittsburgh, familiar environment, familiar system, where he played really, really well for the previous six seasons to earn that bag. Could we see an interstate trade? And would you trade James Bradbury for a seventh round pick? I have a feeling a lot of people are going to say yes to that. That's all good. If you want to say no, that's all good as well. Just share with us what you think in answering this poll question right now.